Shit. Fucking chest hurt. Woo! What was in there pumping in our eyes? I got something to talk about today, though. I ain't really on no skit shit. You know, just being 100. Just being real. The world has changed. Everything's not the same. People don't think the same. Some people do. But my question is, why can't man move on? I mean, is it that hard? Like, seriously, what's the whole point? You you talk to a chick, you attempt to talk to a chick, and she doesn't even give you the time of the day, but you still, you still infatuated with her. You still think she's the best woman in the whole world when you don't even know her. You probably don't even know her last name. So, why can't you move on? It's because I ass so fat. Seen plenty of those. It's because she's gorgeous in the face. See plenty of those. So, why can't you move on? Why are you so obsessed with one chick? It's like, she doesn't even know you, dude. You see her on Twitter. You follow her. Does she follow you back? Eh. Does she talk to you back? Eh. You DM her. Oh, now you really went off the board. Now she's snapshotting you all through her pic twigs, blocking your ass and the whole world laughing at you because you're infatuated with her. See this shit all the fucking time on Twitter. Never stop the cycle. Like, get the fuck over yourself. And, and why do you think this girl got 100,000, 200,000, 300,000 followers or even more? Because niggas like you, men like you, keep gassing her the fuck up. I'm talking about not just little gas. You know, not like a little $2, $3, you know, take you up the street type of gas. I'm talking about a full fucking tank. You know what I'm saying? I mean, y'all really gassing this chick up. Like, her ass could be like this. And y'all making it seem like her ass is like, woo! You know, like, stop it. Stop it. Because you're the reason why she's up on this pedestal and you can't get at her. In reality, she's just another chick at her computer taking pictures just like everybody else. You know? She might be making her picture look a little better. They say it's more fish in the sea. So why, why are you still trying to get at this one? I mean, that's the old saying, more fish in the sea. And if you're young, you got way more bait. You got way more shrimp to be throwing out there, reeling it back, throwing out there, reeling it back. Trust me, fuck the fuck I did. I'm not saying it's bad to be infatuated with someone or to love someone. But that's if that's your significant other. Or that's someone that you're really trying to get in a relationship with. Like y'all both are mutually on the same page. Not a chick that you think you want to be with. But she don't even know your fucking name like we said before. You know, it's okay to be infatuated with that person. That, 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 that creates love. That grows. Okay? That's healthy. You know what I'm saying? That can actually blossom into something. But this other shit that you're doing, you need to stop it. It's a wrap. But not the bad bitch you saw on Twitter that got 300 fucking thousand followers, okay? Not the chicken class that's messing with every popular dude in school. Every popular dude in school. But don't even know the first initial in your first name? I think you need to wrap it up, son. Real talk. And, you know, or, or let's not go here for all you creeps. <laughs> you stalkers. The ones that's at the mall... Looking out for the chick. You know what store she work in. So you keep on creeping in. Uh, oh, does she work today? You work today? She knows you're looking for her. Because every time she goes into work, her co-worker is saying that creepy dude looking for you again. Chill out, B. It's not a good look. Now, this can go both ways. This can totally be vice versa. But I'm not talking about women today. I'm talking about men. Because y'all seem to be the ones with the main fucking issue. Please get your life together. I mean, you got Susan May down the street that's been waiting to give you the ass. But nah. Mm -mm. Nope, Susan May's not good enough. You still want to talk to Lick My Tweets 2526. You know what I'm saying? Waiting for her to give you the ass. And she lives all the way in fucking Arizona. And you live in like what? North Carolina or something? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. If you can find someone that loves you back, then all means do you. I mean, they can love you just like you can love them. Then they do you, okay? But stop fantasizing about... You know, this chick that's not going to give you any play. And if she does give you any play, it's like you had to become rich or something. Or, you know, because she's not digging you in the first place. Because you're fantasizing and you're letting real love slip straight through your fingers. Once again, not a good look. PSA, stop getting attached to these internet celebs, okay? And stop getting attached to the girl in the front or the back of the class that's not paying you any attention. And please, 
please stop stalking that girl at the mall. Because one day, I'm guaranteed, she's going to pull a fucking knife on your ass. Not a good look. For all y'all who don't know, I'm a rapper. Uh, my rap name is Marcus Hamilton, my real name. And I'm um, co-founder of Dollar Dream Entertainment. My other, the other co-founder is G Money, or Money for short. And, um, you know, if y'all want to know anything more about the movement, anything more about the rap, the comedy, anything, just check my Twitter. The link is below. Deuce. Appreciate your love.